Stan Jabalisco here with a little experiment for you. I'm going to show you how a resistive voltage divider circuit works. What we have here, if you will look closely, is three resistors. And uh, I haven't even bothered to measure their values. Um, one of them looks like 330, 470, and 1K. I'm not sure because I can't see the color codes on there very well, but uh, that's what I pulled out of my out of my shelf, uh, out of my cabinet on my workbench. So here's how a resistive voltage divider works, and it'll also demonstrate for you Kirchhoff's voltage law in action. Let's first measure the battery voltage, and that's what I've got this meter here for. You know I tried my digital meter before I put this analog meter down here because I th thought I'd get more precise readings. You know what happened? <laughs> it indicated the battery was weak. The thing wouldn't even work. Oh dear. Well, so let me just go ahead and measure the... there's the positive battery terminal right there. If I can believe that scale on there, it's the lowermost scale there, do you see? It looks like about 6.8 volts. About 6.8 volts. That's what this meter says the battery voltage is. So let's measure the voltages across each of uh, the resistors in turn and see what we get. I'm not... oops, I've got to connect up the the jumper to connect the resistive network to the battery. That might help. There we go. Okay, it looks like what we got here is... what do we see? Uh, about 1.4 volts. Okay, that's 1.4 right there. What does that look like? Across this resistor alone, about 3.4. So you add 1.4 and 3.4. There's your 1.4. 3.4, that's... Is that what it said? 3.4, that's 4.8 volts. Now let's go up and measure this one. Looks like about 2.4 volts. So 4.8 plus 2.4, that adds up to about 7.2 volts. That's interesting. Let's measure across the whole combination. 6.8, maybe 6.9. Let's go backwards. Sometimes it's good to... I'm trying to add these up in my head here, you see. There's 2.4 volts. Let's add up that one. 3.4. That's uh, 5.8 volts. Plus about 1.2 and 1.4. That's 7.2 volts. Now, why do we get those discrepancies like that? You would think that the voltages across each one of these resistors in turn should add up to the battery voltage exactly, but it doesn't. Well, of course, that's because of imprecision in the meter, and uh, that's really basically it. There's two possible reasons. The meter calibration scale isn't quite right, or the meter isn't quite linear in regards to the way that it measures voltages, and that's to be expected in circuits like this. Experimental error. Now this <clears throat> These three resistors can serve as what we call a resistive voltage divider. If you have a very high impedance or high resistance circuit and you want to get only 1.4 volts for part of it, you can connect that part of the circuit across this resistor. If you want to get, say, 4 point... what does that look like to you? 4.5 volts then you would connect it across these two resistors. I'm just curious.
1.4 plus 3.4 should give us 4.8. The meter tells us it's more like 4.5, 4.6. So obviously the analog scale in this meter leaves a little something to be desired. Really this meter is not intended to be a precision meter. That's why I was going to try and use the digital meter before. There's 2.4 volts. There's 3.4 volts. So you would expect we would get 5.8 volts across the combination. Looks like about 5.7. That's a little closer. So you can see how voltages in series add across resistors like this and if you add up all the voltages across the components in a loop like that as I alluded to in the previous video about Kirchhoff's voltage law you would uh, always get the same voltage as the battery if you add those up or if you take polarity into account and go all the way around say from here to here, to here, through the jumper, to here, through the battery, back to here, and back to there again, you would get zero. Well, <laughs> sure enough, you do. Glory be. Will wonders never cease. Stan Jibalisco from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Signing off for now. Until next time, so long.